Hello everyone, in this video I've compiled my best maps created in Brookhaven. You'll see both the creation process and funny moments, and even some scary ones. Enjoy watching! In today's video, I will turn the toothless meme into a map in Roblox Brookhaven. And after that we will test with Peepo how good and funny this map is. First of all, I want to start with the trees. Delete these trees and go to Blender where I will make a new model for the tree. Before I decided to make this map, I made this animation with a toothless in 3D. This is the model I'm going to use as a base, namely the toothless's head. I removed all the keyframes from the animation, sized up the toothless, and separated his head. I wanted to make a tree like this, but there was a problem. When I imported this model into Roblox Studio, I got an error. My model had too many polygons, so I decided to do it differently. I made a retopology of the toothless head, thus reducing the number of polygons. And now everything was working perfectly. All that was left was to paint the head color and add the eyes. Also, don't forget about the eye pupils. <gasps> hmm, looks good. What's left to do is to make a tree trunk, branches, and place the toothless's heads on those branches. As scary as that sounds. And after all that, I need to make absolutely all the trees exactly like this one. And believe me, it was really boring to do it. I hope you've already put a like under this video for my efforts, and subscribe to my channel. And in the meantime, here's what I got. Bruh. And yes, to keep these models from falling over, I forgot to press one button that will lock them in place. Now everything will work perfectly and no 3D models will fall down. Now it's time to color the other blocks near the fountain. Some of them I made yellow, just like the color of the eyes and others black. In the case of the arch, I decided to make it yellow as well. But on top of it, I will place a toothless head. I think it'll look pretty cool that way. Removing the fountain. Go into Blender and delete the cube. And create a cube. You didn't have to cut me off. Now from this cube model, something that resembles a fountain. But actually, I decided not to bother us much with it, and just make just a fairly simple shape. Put it in the same spot as the fountain, and enjoy how cool it looks. But that's not all. Let's replace those potted plants with something else. Create a sphere. Put it back where the plant was. Duplicate, and add an eye pupil. Congratulations! Now instead of plants, we have eyes growing in the flower pots. And since I want to kill Peepo when he comes onto my map in the future, I need to add a helicopter. But I confess, I was too lazy to make my own helicopter model, so I decided to use someone else's helicopter asset, which I also painted yellow, and the only other thing I added was to make its propeller black. Actually, I had the same idea in the beginning to add a toothless head to the helicopter as well, but that didn't work out so well, so I left it as it was. It's time for supercars. <laughs> this car looks pretty good. Let's test her. <laughs> Shit. I don't know who made this car, but he's some kind of crazy person. It's like it's been taken over by demons, and they're running it any way they want. It's very fast and very hard to drive. So let's add another car. And we'll give the last one to Peepo because I don't want to die in a car accident. The biggest thing I want to add to this map is probably a huge statue of Toothless. And it will be quite fun, because for example, if a player can fly here by helicopter, he actually becomes the king of the mountain, because he will be able to shoot other players, and they will not be able to do anything to him. And after that, I got bored, so I decided to add some more yellow to this map. Look at this, it's the cutest boat I've ever seen in my life. I almost forgot, it is necessary to add a large inscription on some building that would be immediately clear that this is the city of Toothless. Perfect! Now that we have three cars, let's add a fourth. I like this one the best. I woke up in a new Buga. Let's see how fast she is. It's a lot easier to drive than the first car I added. Paint it yellow. And now we have four cool cars, but something is missing. And what do you think? Certainly not enough ramps. I mean, what are supercars for without ramps? Let's try to speed up in a Supra, and fly onto the roof of some building. Yay! 
Now we can invite Peepo. Peepo! Hey, everybody. Good to see you. Peepo, what's your first impression of this game? Let me just say that I love this yellow palette and these cars. It looks really cool. Why don't you try taking a ride in some car? Preferably a third. Okie dokie. Wow, this is a really fast car. I'm really skidding in it. Damn, how do I control this crap? Peepo, by the way, there's a ski jump. Come over to me and try to jump over it. Black, I'm having a little problem. What's Peepo's problem? My car drove away from me all by itself. <laughs> so where are you located? Let me drive up. I'm near the solar panels. I'm here. And where did you go, Peepo? If anything, I wasn't in the car. Black next time make normal cars, because right now it looks like, like it's being driven by a ghost. Well, putting a toothless in place of trees is genius. You're the only one who'd think of that. Peepo, I'm gonna show you the best part of this map. Which one? You're about to see. I don't like your ramp. Come to me. One second. What the fuck? I didn't know you had a helicopter that shoots. Alright, why don't you try jumping in with me? I'll show you something. Just don't kill me again, please. I'll think about it. Wow, that's a cool statue. The main thing is not to destroy or lose this helicopter, because I don't have another one. Uh, are you saying the main thing is not to destroy this helicopter? Peepo, what are you doing? Peepo, that's not funny. Stop doing that. It's revenge. Ha ha ha, loser. Okay, Peepo, I'm going to the center of the map. Let's come up with something interesting. Like what? Try getting in the car. I can't. I think there's only one active seat. All right, let me just go outside and try it myself. What's going on? Why is the helicopter here? Don't you dare, I'll sit there. I think you missed a little bit. No, please don't. Haha, <laughs> I win. Look, Black. You don't stand a chance this time because I can get to the car faster than you. Muchas gracias, afición. Este para vosotros. No, 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 no. Wait, wait for me. Finally, I have a day off, and I can relax peacefully and watch YouTube. So, who decided to bother me? Uh-oh! Damn, I completely forgot that my girlfriend is in the hospital. I can't wait to see my child. Hmm... This is the first time I've seen a basketball hoop here. Oh, wow. It's a trampoline. I wonder who put all this here. Oh my god, why did they add spikes here? It's dangerous. Sweetie! <laughs> Hello, darling. Come with me! We've been waiting for this moment for so long, and finally, it's happened. This is the most nerve-wracking moment in my life. So, which one of them is our child? This one. Боярышник Форте Эвалар – надежный друг вашего сердца. I think I understand why they put spikes there. Hello, 2020. Where'd you go? Don't worry, darling. You'll find out soon.
Oh, yes! <laughs> In today's video, I will create a dog day haven in honor of Day Dog from Poppy Playtime. There will be lots of dogs, cars, trampolines, and much more. But before we begin, try to hit the like button in less than three seconds. Three, two, one. Da -da -da. As usual, I logged in to play Brookhaven, but suddenly I saw him. Uh -oh. Wow, guys, it's dog day. Let's go join him. Hello. Okay. Guys, I wonder where he wants to take me. He probably wants to show me his house. I have this strange feeling inside, but I think everything will be okay. Bro, where are you taking me? Dude, what does all this mean? Why did you lock me in a cage? Black, I've seen all your videos and I'm disappointed. You made videos on how you create Toothless Haven and Zombie Haven, but you didn't even consider making Dog Day Haven, and you really hurt me with that. Bro, you could have just asked, and I would have made that video. I give you two hours to make it. I can handle it in just an hour. Okay, let's remove the previous fountain and put a new, more impressive one. <laughs> I like this one. Looks cool, let's increase it a bit. Now it's time to paint almost all the trees in orange, since Dog Day is mostly orange. This will be the primary color of this map. These trees look much cooler than green ones. Next thing I'll do is change the color of the arch and add Dog Day on it. For example, like this one. I'll put it at the very top of the arch. And I'll paint the arch itself in red. Do the same with the second arch. Looks good. Black, I want you to add a lot of cool cars. That's not a problem. All right, let's do it. Start with this car. Add it to the scene, and since it's white, we need to repaint it. I want to make it orange-red. Perfect. Nice. All that's left is to put it in the parking spot. This is the coolest car I've ever seen. I like this car. I like it because it's very easy to control, it drives very smoothly, and it has a nitro boost. Let's paint it in yellow as well. It will be the biggest car on this map. I think Dog Day will like it. Let's test it out. Wow! I also added a few more cars to add some variety. I even found a McDonald's car. It turned out to be the coolest in the end. I made four cars at once. I want you to make Toys Box with Dog Day. Okay, let's do it. Removing these refrigerators. And adding a toy box. It needs to be slightly enlarged, and we need to remove Noob from it. After that, add Dog Day to it. Place this box against the wall and clone it to have more toys. Don't forget about the helicopter as well. Sure. I think we should put in a new helicopter pad. Looks great! Wow, this helicopter looks unusual. It's a real military helicopter! Let's paint it and test how it flies. Oh shit. Okay guys, this control is too complicated. Let's make something simpler. I'll add several helicopter options at once to see which one works best. This helicopter is the largest of them all. <laughs> LOL, as far as I understand, this helicopter automatically attacks all players. Unfortunately, this is just a 3D model of a helicopter. It doesn't work. What if I climb on top of this helicopter? 
I'm ready to fly, Mr. Evil Helicopter. I wonder how high I'll fly. I think this way I can even reach the moon. I think you forgot to add the most important thing. Like what? You forgot to add the dogs. Darn, this helicopter is annoying me. I need to add the dog right here. This one will do. I think people will like it. I completely forgot that dogs need somewhere to live. If I were a dog, I would be very happy with such a home. I added another dog like this, which has a body resembling a human, but in fact, it's a real dog. I won't forgive you. At the end, I added houses, repainted some buildings in orange, made a dog day prison, and even added McDonald's to the game. It's time to invite Peepo. Hello everyone, Black invited me to another map he created. I can already say that I like that there are big cars here. Not only are there cars here... Who's flying this helicopter, Black? The one who really hates dogs. What's that? Who's shooting? This car will definitely save me from that helicopter. He doesn't know yet that I hit a minigun at the police station. Is that helicopter shooting at me again? Yes. Come to me. In here? Stand right here. Congratulations, now you've become a true dog day. Cool. Follow me, people. <laughs> Guys, I added a trampoline here, but it has one special feature that I'll show you now. <laughs> people, now try crashing into the trampoline from the opposite side. Hoo-ya! I don't know why, but this trampoline doesn't work quite as it should. And it's even somewhat amusing. I want to try it again. My turn. In the beginning, I decided to start by adding basic zombies and weapons. Wow. I found these cool zombies that I really like. The first zombie is a spirit zombie. It gives off a very bright glow, and it is immediately clear that it is best not to anger it. The second zombie is a zombie shooter. He looks like he's radioactive. The third zombie is very fast, and it's gonna be hard to escape. And I think the fourth one is the scariest. He's all black, and he can jump really high. So you'd think it was a zombie hull. Let's make it bigger. And these are the kind of guns I added. This gun, for example, can freeze zombies. The bazooka is the most effective gun, and the pistol is the most stable one. And the coolest thing is the minigun that will be can be found at the finish line of this map. Let's fire up the game and I'll show you how I kill all these zombies in 5 seconds, because I'm invincible. <laughs> Oops, I guess I made a little mistake. Let's move the zombies a little farther away so that I have time to at least spawn and show these zombies all my power. Because it's not fair, I haven't had time to spawn and they're already shooting at me. 
That's better. By the way, don't pay attention to that weird glow. It's some kind of bug that's connected with the black zombie. So let's kill them all. Oh my god, where did you come from? You couldn't have jumped to me that fast. Okay guys, we're stronger than those stupid zombies so we don't have to be afraid of them. So let's go to guns. Uh oh. He's disappeared. I'm already by the gun, stupid zombie. Lol, he can't even catch up to me. By the way, there's a fast zombie running in here, only it's really small. <laughs> Look at him, he can't move. Oh no! It's time to test how effective gun... I wonder if I'll be able to hit it when he's in the air. You're dead! Damn, that was a bad time to run out of ammo. I'm sick of you, when are you gonna die? You lost, you stupid zombie, now I'm here, boss. We still have a bazooka and a minigun. There's some very strange smoke coming from that building. There's probably a zombie hiding in there. Come out, zombie. Don't be afraid. I'll kill you quickly. I found him. Oh, man, that bazooka is hard to control if you're not used to it. He must have come to the sound of the bazooka. That's okay. I'm gonna kill him, too. Oh, where the hell did he go? I don't see him. Just a blob of black smoke. As long as he doesn't show up behind my back. Well, come here, you weakling. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that. Wow, look at that. His body was blown apart to pieces by my bazooka. I could make one of these funny things? Now he's definitely not gonna get in my way. There's one last zombie left and he's hiding out in this store right here. Oh, I think he's stuck in the textures. Yeah, I get it. This zombie's a real cheater and he's not playing by the rules and he's shooting through walls. Even missiles don't kill him. Damn, he didn't die until after the fourth missile. Let's restart the level and take a look at the minigun. The black zombie is behind me right now, but he has no idea what's waiting for him. Huh? Haha, <laughs> 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 loser! <laughs> it seems better not to touch him even when he's dead. <laughs> Alright, it's time to make some sort of a house that the player will spawn in. We're removing the fountain because it will interfere and create the walls for the house. I'll make it tall enough with a closed roof so that a big zombie can't get inside. And instead of these trees, I want to put up two big Christmas trees that I'm gonna paint red. This tree will do. It's pretty dark on the roof itself, so I want to add some light to the inside. So I'm gonna... I need to add some lamps. Nice. And don't forget the stairs, because the player can't get to the roof. Press play. <laughs> Looks like someone forgot again to fix the objects. For more atmosphere of this zombie map, I decided to paint some objects in red color, which would look more aggressive and apocalyptic. And right on the spawning ground, there will be a sign like this. A sign that will immediately warn players that they're not in a resort. Well, what kind of zombie apocalypse if there's not going to be a proper car? Plus, as a bonus, there's going to be some motorcycles. In general, the idea of this map is quite simple. On the map will be different points where there will be either special numbers that are needed to that would be in the final. Open a special door. And those locations will be illuminated with beacons like this so that they're easy to find. And the final room itself will be located on the head of the zombie statue. And there's going to be one secret thing in this room that I'm going to show you at the very end. So don't close this video. Hmm. Something's missing and I think I know what... Yeah, with that green sky, it's already looking like a full-fledged zombie game, even though I'm not even close to finishing it. So you're probably wondering, how do you get at a zombie's head if it's too high and there's nothing but cars? And I'll tell you, the answer is by helicopter. And this will be one of the points the player will need to reach to get to the final room. There will be a red road leading to this room, which is exactly what would indicate that something or someone is in there. But in this room, there will be large zombies that will be guarding the helicopters. At the very end, I placed all the weapons on special points on the map, fixed some things in some buildings and other small things, and called Peepo to play with me. Hey guys, I think something interesting is about to happen because the atmosphere here is ominous. We get on the bikes, Peepo, and we go to the first point you want to go to. Okay, as long as we don't die right away. My subscribers are joining us, by the way. Hoo-ya! All right, I'm gonna go get myself a gun in this building. Peepo, I need your help because there are two zombies. Hold on a second, because I'm going the other way. Thank you, I'm dead. What's up? Peepo, you've already got the gun, I hope. For what? Well, that's the least you can do. No, I've got something more interesting. Come in here and get your gun or you won't live that long. 
I'm fine as I am. What are you doing? I can teleport from point to point, so I don't really need a gun. We got another subscriber, Peepo. All right, let's have a battle between each other. In the end. Why not now? It's not going to be as interesting now. How come you didn't die from a gun, but you did die from a motorcycle? I'm not dead, I'm alive. I think you're lying to me. Huh? Okay, let me show you the first digit for the door code, and then you can look for it yourself. Okay. Holy shit, what a huge zombie. We're here. Oh, I see the number two. Is that like the first digit of the door code or is it? There could be a random sequence, so you're going to have to try to guess. Hmm, okay. Come here. I accidentally found this portal gun in there. I don't think it's a good idea to begin with. It's gonna be fine, don't worry. Hmm. So I'm on the roof. What's down there, by the way? Because I wasn't looking, because as soon as I picked up the gun, I teleported to the center. There's something interesting in there. <laughs> like what? Just don't fall. <laughs> Damn it, why are these zombies so big? They can also jump, by the way. Oh, shit. I think I'm gonna die. Let's go. I think I'm gonna fall down again. Try not to fall, because if you do, you'll probably die. Shoot them! Whatever, let's go. There's another gun in here that you're gonna love! What kind of gun? A gun that can freeze zombies. We're being followed by that black zombie. Come here, I wanna try to do one thing. What, people? <laughs> Come on, stop shooting at me already! It's just like you said earlier, I'm going to like this gun. So I thought I'd test it out. Okay, I hear you. Are there even a lot of these numbers to be found here? No, four numbers. Okay. Okay, one more digit is three. Yes, people, you're absolutely right. That's enough shooting. Let's go find the next number. Wait, is that the number two again? Yes! Whoa, next to the last number, there's another big zombie. Don't mind him, he looks like he's stuck. Come on, is the code so simple that it's made up of twos and threes? Yes! I think you're you're using that gun a little wrong. Black, what's in this mountain? A secret room with weapons. It's a little jerky. Unfortunately, I haven't done too much optimization. What's that door? Open it up and take a look. <laughs> Oh, damn, get away from me, stupid zombie. <laughs> okay, Peepo, you found all the numbers. Now let's go to the final room where you're gonna will guess the correct code for the door. Go, go, go. Peepo, you got some new superpower? I guess so. What do you think might happen now? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> Are you kidding me? God forbid I die again now. Don't worry, it's gonna be fine. Now try to guess the password. <laughs> Lol, that zombie is a pretty good dancer. Black, I think we need to record more videos related to the secret rooms at Brookhaven. Yeah, I agree with you. Sometimes it can be really interesting and even scary. People, what it is? Black, I think it's blood. My god, how come on such a beautiful day, blood in the middle of the road? Black, look over there. Hey guys, what are you doing? Oh my god, where's the blood coming from? Dude, we don't know, we just saw this. That's a little scary, these bloody footprints on the ground leading behind this building. Let's go and see what's going on. Maybe someone's just playing a joke and spilled <laughs> fake blood in here. Hmm, I'm getting a weird vibe. I have the same feeling. I'm a little uncomfortable. And so... Oh my god. Damn. How can this be? Who did this? I think there's a maniac in Brookhaven. What happened?
Yeah, it's working. Black, look at this. Wow! There's a lot of money in there. I think it's someone's stash. Let's get it all and get out of here. People, be careful, it might be a trap. No, I'm sure there's no traps. I told you! I'm already regretting that we came here, because we're never gonna get out again. I wonder who killed them all. Black, we only have one chance to pass this deadly test. Because if we even touch a little bit of lava, we die instantly. In that case, we must be very careful. I'll go first, and then you two will follow me. Okay guys, it's not as hard as it sounds. Try to do it, but be as careful. I want to be next. Holy shit! I'll try not to repeat his mistake. It's really not that hard. There are guns here. Looks like we're gonna have to defend ourselves against someone. Let's move on. Bro, who are you? Pippo, go run away, he wants to kill us. Shoot him, Black. I thought we were gonna die. Let's go. Look at the wall. I can't figure out, what does this have to do with nuggets? Maybe it's also some kind of secret code. These obstacles will be a little more difficult than the previous ones. To increase your speed, get a skateboard. Now I'll be able to get through these obstacles without a problem. It's your turn, people! It was easy. Guys, if you haven't already liked it, now's the time to do it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out video of the new secret locations in Brookhaven. Hmm, that's a strange watch. Pipo, watch out, there's that monster again. Now he's gonna die. Uh, there's a weird sign here. Wow, looks like we need to jump in there. It's a little scary. Wow, I'm in some kind of weird room. Whoa! There's a strange clown standing here. I hope he's not dangerous. For whatever reason, there are toilets here. I just don't know what they're for. CBDBD, dom dom, yeah, yeah, CBDBD, dom. Okay, go! <laughs> Look at this! I think I figured out what the toilets are for. Black, I accidentally killed a clown. <laughs> we have to move forward. 
Look, there are pipes here that we can use to stealthily through this monster. Now, be careful you don't fall down, or the monster will hear you. Okay. Peepo, we're almost at the finish line. We're practically free now. <gasps> Let's go to the portal. Yay, we made it out alive. By the way, Peepo, I have a surprise for you. Nothing foretold trouble. I was just sitting there playing Brookhaven with my subscribers. When all of a sudden I got a message. This is what happened next. Oh my god, Peepo, we're just getting started and I'm already feeling weird. Black, look up. Why is the sky so red like it's the apocalypse? Woo! I'm assuming this is an obstacle course we have to go through. I tried to get into the helicopter, but for some reason I got thrown out of it and I fell. How did you get to the helicopter so fast? Look straight ahead. There's a whole bunch of helicopters. Okay, Peepo, let's go. Hmm. Wow, what's that? Looks like some kind of anti-tank cannon. Try shooting me in the head. People, where are you? Haha. <laughs> I'm here. All right, let's get to the helicopter. When I look up, I have to admit, honestly, I get a little scared. I agree with you. The atmosphere is not particularly pleasant. Let me get in the helicopter first. Okay. It's a pretty weird helicopter because I can't get a second seat in it. Well. But okay, it's no big deal. I take it this is the beginning of that obstacle course. Whoa, people, what is that? Jump! Whoa, that's two toothless statues. Black, who's that standing there? I don't know. It's a good thing there are guns here so I can defend myself if anything happens. The statue seems to be scared too. Who are you, bro? Peepo, he's running at me! <laughs> Thank you, Peepo. You saved me. Why do you always hold your gun backwards? I don't know. It's probably just the skin. Look at me. <laughs> Waiting for you upstairs, Peepo. Helicopter! Helicopter! I think we should get in the cars and try to drive down that narrow road next. Let's go. Hooray! Loser. What happened? 
My car went down too. You called me a loser and you lost your car. So I jumped out of the car and it flew down for some reason. Well, it doesn't matter. There's two more cars here. But as I recall, this second car is the most uncomfortable to drive. Well, I'll try. Hoo -yah! Yeah, I remember trying to drive this car in the previous video. It was very difficult. Get in my car then. No, I'm gonna try again. <laughs> All right, I'm moving on. I did it. Now the important thing is not to fall down, so we drive as carefully as we can. Peepo, keep up! Damn it, why is this car so fast? I told you that you should have get in my car. I wanted to drive carefully back, but apparently something went wrong. Let's reset. And so, attempt number two. Could you move aside a little bit, please? You're in my way. It worked perfectly this time. You go first then. But let's not don't fall down. I'll do my best. And so we're almost there. Damn! Oh shit. Attempt number three. I guess we should have to get in the same car in the first place. It would have been easier. This is where you have to be as careful as possible. Now we have to jump over this ramp. The important thing is to get the car up to speed. I don't think it would be a big deal if you and I just fly up there in helicopters. Since we were so close. This must be the arena because down here are a lot of toothless warriors. Jump down, people! Don't worry, there's two of us, which means we can beat them. There's really not that many of them around here. The last two, Toothless. Okay, Peepo, let's move on. Okay, let's not shoot each other. Oops. So, Peepo, it's like a regular obby, so our first priority is not to step on those red stripes. Yay, Black, we did it. Oh my god, people, what is it? There was clearly some kind of battle going on here, with corpses and flames all around. Oh, I feel sorry for the guy. It's horrible. Black, come on, we can do this. This guy's a little buggy. Okay, now we just need to jump on this tower. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I climbed up here. Where are you, Peepo? I'm here. Now this trap is a little more difficult, because there's a small distance between them. Weakling. Ooh. I'm ready to move on, Peepo. Black, don't fall because there's no escape. Yeah, well, if there were less than 10 last time, now there's like 50 of them. There's also a platform that's so thin it's very intimidating. Now we can safely shoot them down with these cannons. That's the most fun I've had on this map so far. Guess what I did. What? I accidentally killed myself. Okay. In the meantime, I'll kill all the survivors. And you get a helicopter down here as fast as you can. What? Well, it's supposed to be the same code as it was for the door in the previous video where I made a zombie apocalypse map. Where are you, Peepo? I'm here! 
Now we need to climb these stairs. People, I think I know what it is. Oh, it's slabs like in the squid game. Damn! It seems like a long time coming because there are quite a few slabs. Black, trust me, I know how easy it is to pass this test. Look. I think we're gonna make it. How did you guess which one was the right one? You don't have to ask. You just have to repeat after me. You're either very lucky or you're somewhere cheated. Most importantly, there are no pictures of us on that wall now as missing persons. I agree with you. Bruh. Okay, people, let's move on. People, stop! It's okay, we have guns. It was dangerous. Wow, people! This is the largest army of Toothless I've ever seen! Black, there's two more anti-tank guns at the end. So we're just gonna have to carefully through this obby, and those Toothless Beasts aren't gonna do anything to us. Okay, I'll pretend they're not here. Just be careful. I'm as careful as I can be, don't worry! Black, What are you doing? Trying to survive. Ah! Try to run away as long as you can from them. And I'll try to get to the finish line. Okay, people. Then we're gonna have to kill them all of them with a gun. CBDBD dop dop yeah yeah CBDBD dop dop yeah CBDBD dop Look black it looks like they've all gone stale and aren't moving anymore That's a good thing for us So wait till I get to the gun Now I can destroy them all Kill those toothless that have started following me again. They started moving, it seems, because you started shooting at them. It's okay, they're all gonna die. So, Black, thanks for saving me. I couldn't have done it without you. And now we can go into that last room and, and see what's hidden in there. Well, go ahead, open that last door. Peepo! Look at that, that's a huge, like... What? Peepo, why did you pull a gun? Long story short, I actually set the whole thing up so that you would come with me and open that door. Because no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't open that door, but you did it with no trouble at all. And now I'm going to take that sacred like for myself, so, uh, no offense. Peepo, I have one little gift for you. Na 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 na